I'm going to share with you the manifesting matrix. It's so cool. You're going to love this. Five myths of manifesting. 18 steps to manifest anything that you want. Attract positive energy. Manifest the things that you have dream of. The dreams that you've had when you were young or even dreams you had today. Okay, so five myths of manifesting. The first myth is you can't manifest because that's not what you really want. People say, well, you want to manifest what you want, but you're not manifesting successfully because that's not what you really want in the first place. If you know what you really want, then yeah, figure out how to manifest it, okay? Don't change it just because you make you confused and ask yourself, is that what I really want, right? If you really want something, it's really what you really want something. Just, just figure out what you really want and go and manifest it. That's the answer, okay? Second myth is just be yourself. Just be yourself and you will manifest what you want. If you are a failure, if you are unsuccessful, if you cannot manifest in the first place, you don't know how to, and if you just be yourself, then you're gonna keep getting that. You're gonna keep getting failure. <laughs> now, if you're someone who is positive, it has positive energy, who is um, manifesting already, and who has uh, meditation technology, or they have skills to manifest, and they just be themselves. Yeah, they're gonna have success. They're gonna be able to manifest because they're being themselves. So, well, if you wanna just be yourself, make sure you change yourself and improve yourself or transform yourself so that you can be someone who can manifest. Then you can manifest what you want. Number three is just visualize harder. Visualize more clearly in your mind what you want and you will manifest. If you visualize what you want, that is one step of manifestation. But is that the only thing you need to do? Absolutely not. There's many steps to manifestation. Fourth one is similarly similar. Just keep saying that you are, or you, you have the thing that you want and keep affirming to yourself and listening to affirmations or saying affirmations, and then you're gonna manifest. Number five, just set goals. Be specific, make them reachable, make them measurable, give them a time limit, and then you'll be able to manifest. Okay? So if, remember, uh, the first one is to have a dream and inspiration. Find what you want uh, as a dream. Sometimes it's like comes out of nowhere. You had a dream about something or you saw something and it inspired you or it's just something you just popped in your mind. So that's all it is. It's just some kind of dream. Second step is to make it into an idea concept. The dream maybe is all surreal and doesn't make sense, but somehow you were able to turn it into a concept, into an idea that you can con uh, make more concrete into you, in your mind. So you can either uh, draw it on a piece of paper. It's like a concept. You have a blueprint. Third step is to visualize. Now you can like mentally and consciously visualize this new dream or this idea and concept in your mind. Step four is to model. Step four is to find something that already exists in the world that's kind of similar to uh, what you had, what you dreamed of. Find something that's already out there. Okay, so you have something to start with, something to model. These 12 steps are actually the fastest way you can manifest anything, okay? So this is totally extreme or sometimes even instant manifestation if you follow these steps. Number five is to have a blueprint and intention. So now you want to start creating a blueprint or some steps that you can take in order to manifest what you want. Start from the end and go backwards and say, okay, if I want to make a thousand dollars, okay, uh, this month, well, what do I need to do? Well, I first need to figure out how to make maybe 500 first, right? And then like, what do I need to do to do that? Or if I need to find a job, what do I need to do? Well, well, I need to, you know, get my resume out there, look for jobs and things like that. Okay, so make a step of actions and a blueprint in order to, to get to where you want. The next one is to get resourceful. Start listing uh, what you have. Like if you're going to get a job, start listing what are your strengths, and what are your assets? What are your specialties? What makes you have more skill than other people? What skills do you have? So get resourceful, how much money you have, you know, how much money you have access to. Who do you know that can help? Who do you know that can guide you? Do you have any mentors? Do you have any coaches that can help you? Is there some courses that you can take? Start to get resourceful and think outside a box of what you can do and what you can acquire or borrow even to help you to get to where you want. The next step is to create an action plan. Create an action plan. Step one to step 
whatever steps in order for you to achieve that blueprint. So now it becomes more organized. And the next one is figure out the prioritization and optimization. So a lot of times we have so many things we need to do. We're overwhelmed and say, oh, I've got to do this and do this and do this. So many things we need to do, so many distractions. So what do you do? You need to prioritize and optimize. So figure out, okay, today, what are the two things I need to do? And then just write them on a piece of paper. Well, first of all, you write out all the things you need to do. It may be a list of 20 things. Okay, you just write them all on a piece of paper or write them all on a, on a notepad. Start to prioritize which is the most important. And then once you've prioritized the most important ones, just focus on the first two. Put the rest of the other ones on another file. That's what I do. And then just have these two things on, on one screen. What's the next step? Next step is to test. Test and see whether your action plan works. Start taking action. Test it out. Okay, and find a way that you can do something and take some action steps and baby steps so that you can start moving forward without too much risk. Next is evaluation. After test, you say to yourself, well, did that work or did that not work? If it did work, which parts of it worked? And then if it didn't work, which parts didn't work? So what do you do after that? Then you retest and reevaluate. You test again You say, okay, now I know what didn't work. Maybe I should stop doing that. And now I know what works. Maybe I should do more of this. And then you retest and reevaluate. If you want to learn these in more detail, then you absolutely need to be taking my manifestation course, which is the transformation course. The transformation course comes with the transformation system. And you see up there, this this gold box here with the cheat coils. So you got the gold cheat coils. You get two of these, one's yin, one's yang, and you get the transformation system. It's a five week course. It has all the meditation techniques, all the um, 18 steps of manifesting with a workbook that you can follow along with. It's a full course. If you want to learn how to manifest, how to attract abundance, that's basically the only course you need to do that. If you want to manifest, you need to be integrating different parts of yourself. You integrate your intuition, your intellect, your intention, and then also add focused effort. Okay, so all those things that we talked about. And many people teach these things, but very few people teach them all at the same time. Even though that's you need all those things in order to make uh, in order to manifest. For example, intuition. A lot of people teach you how to meditate and how to have intuition, which is very important. It's part of the initial steps of visualization and planning and having a dream, even the blueprint part. That's the intuition. But then if you just focus on that, you're missing out on the intellect part, which is the blueprint, which is the steps that you need to take. And then you, some people just focus on having intention. How do you have the intention? Intention is great, but you still need intuition. You still need intellect. And then the fourth most important part is focused effort. If you don't have focused effort and you don't have energy to give you that focused effort, you're not going to go anywhere. You can think and meditate and dream all you want, but if you don't have focus ever, you'll never be able to create anything. Manifesting Meditation Matrix. Let me play a quick pre video, see if this works. Okay. You guys see this video? Okay, so some of you guys have seen this video, it's very quick. But there's a lot of important stuff in here. Let me explain to you what this is. So if you haven't heard of right frequencies, then just look it up. Right frequencies, um, what they do is they basically are designed to make bad cells kill themselves or make bad cells explode. And right frequencies are one frequency. Let's say it's 5.22. It's randomly. It's, it's just one frequency. As you can see in the spectrum analysis, it only shows as one line. So it only shows one frequency. So a lot of people using binaural beats. They're great. They're great for meditating. Um, but binaural beats is basically what it is. It's binaural. It's two. Two frequencies. One in each ear. And that's what it looks like on the spectrum analysis. What we have is a quantum frequency. So for a very long time, we've been using quantum frequencies which are multiple frequencies that create harmonic patterns, if you can see here. Okay, so you can clearly see that this is a lot more powerful than just two frequencies or just one single frequency because we're using a harmonic and we are actually creating another dimension of meditation. Now, recently, we just released our new higher quantum frequencies. And what that looks like is this. But if you look closely, you can see actual geometric patterns in the spectrum analysis. What is spectrum analysis? It's actually 
the actual frequencies shown in a in a graph. Okay, this is using the same software to measure these, and the software is showing this. So as I said, every one of these specs or it's these stars, they actually look like stars, are actual notes or frequencies that are played in these tracks. So this is the brain optimization one. And if you look closely, you can actually see that it's symmetrical. There's a symmetrical component to these sound files to the point that you can actually see it's like these X's. So this is a visual representation using this software to see what you are hearing. We have that nobody else has, okay? People are not even caught up with quantum frequencies and we're already at the next level, the fourth level, fourth dimension, and we're now we're doing higher quantum frequencies with dynamic matrix of intention, as you can see, with thousands and thousands of frequencies. What if we have the technology now to download intentions and download emotions and state of beings into your mind, just like that? Wouldn't that just be a game changer for everybody, the whole planet? Wouldn't that be a game changing for you to become and manifest anything that you want? Nikola Tesla said that if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Here's Neo stopping the bullets and he figured out that it was all just code. I know Kung Fu, that's right. What if I can show you a technology that uses frequency to program your mind, your body, and your spirit be in any state that you want? If you want to be in a better mood, you can be in a better mood instantly. If you want to be someone who is more intelligent, more intuitive, someone who is more relating with other people, more outgoing, someone who is more successful, more powerful meditation, more vivid dreaming. I'm gonna give you a list of things that you can program yourself with. We have a menu of programs, literally, to down download into your brain. Okay, introducing the inner circle frequencies. These frequencies are so powerful that we made them only available to people in our inner circle because they require some special training to use. Just imagine you had these and you can program anything, any emotion into your mind, any state of being, any manif manifestation or any intention. We've separated these into a few categories. There's 42 of these programs and actually there's more. There's manifestation program, brain boost programs, psychic ability program, abundance program, mind expansion program. Let me get into what these are. So there's an abundance bundle. These are actual programs for success programming, helping you manifest, helping motivate you, help you to become more magnetically attractive, help you to amplify your manifestation, boost your luck, increase your health, wealth, and wisdom, attract money and resources, attract abundance. So all these are actual intention programs that we have figured out. It's pretty deep how we actually made these codes, but there's a certain scientific way that we use to create these codes. And in these codes, when your mind listens to them, you will be programmed with these things. So there's the abundance bundle. It's all there. There's eight of them. We all, there's also the manifestation. So surging in the strength, willpower and purpose, stay focused, remove limitations, overcome fear, overcome adversity, just do it, job well done, get in stuck, focus and energy. So. A lot of people want to get this, get unstuck or stay focused. Okay, so these are mental and even spiritual programs that you can use to give you that state of being. People will probably think, well, oh, hold on a second, Dave Wong. Are you saying that you can instantly meditate and get into that state of being? That's exactly what these are for. People spend years meditating or trying to meditate or learning how to meditate to get into these states of being these states of consciousness. And now there's technology that can get you into these states instantly. Who can say that? Who can say that? No one in the world can say that right now. There's manifestation. Psychic ability. This is crazy, okay? If you, whether you believe you have psychic ability or not, there's ways to increase your psychic ability, including salvia, divorium, magic mushroom, LSD, cannabis. Okay, this is not the actual drug, but this is the emulation of these drugs that can expand your mind. What else? We can enhance your psychic ability. Crown chakra activation, open your third eye, astral projection, teleportation, celestial body expansion, divine intuition and instinct, lucid dream inducer, increase your mental telepathy, increase your, uh, activate your psychic ability, psychic shield if you want to be protected from psychic attack, third eye opening and pineal gland activation. Make your brain think faster, have better uh, concentration, increase your intelligence, increase your memory and cognition, 
optimize your brain, increase your ability to learn logic and languages, increase your ability for problem solving, increase your mental stamina, and brain and nerve support. So all these things to help you have a healthier brain. So how much are these, all these uh, frequencies worth? They're actually worth altogether $2,829, all these frequencies. The only problem is you can't buy them. We actually made them free. Who likes free? For Inner Circle members. I have started Inner Circle. It's called the David Wong Inner Circle. We have limited space. The price is $2,000, $1,997. It's a lifetime membership. And you get all those higher quantum frequencies included. You also get private closed door meetings with me to get special training, advanced training on meditation technology and then on manifesting. That's the $2,000 value. That's forever, right? Because lifetime membership. You get advanced training and coaching directly from me. So if you need help with something, you can get coaching from me. And that's $3,000 value. You get a gold membership card. You see here, the value of all this is actually $7,922. And there's more. You also get uh, unique opportunities to work with me and my network of people. You get peer support and guidance. You get complimentary attendance to special events. You get a, a affiliate commission boost if you're an affiliate. You get special memo only deals and you get early prototype access. So this is all priceless. There's no amount of price because you can, it's unlimited how much you can um, improve yourself with all this, even make more money with this. The value is at least 7922 plus all the priceless bonuses and the lifetime membership is 1997. Financing is available. If you want to learn more about it, go to davidwonginnercircle.com. So this is totally game changing guys. We have the code just like in the matrix to program your emotions program your reality, program anything that you want, any intention, and you can use it to manifest. Because as I said before, what are the blocks of manifestation? Is lack of energy, negative thoughts, negative patterns, and not having the full picture. But now you have the full picture. You have the whole system. This is the only thing you need in order to manifest anything that you want. If you're in bad health, you might find yourself starting to be in better health, uh, which I did for sure. I'd be able to transform my own health with it. I was in, I was diseased for 10 years with a digestive issue, with an ulcer problem. And then I was using these technology and I'm completely heal, healed from that. That's my opinion. I'm not saying it's going to happen for you, but that's just what uh, happened for me. So now is a good time to uh, answer some questions. Let's go back. So Anthony wants to know, how is this different from a Qi machine? Well, a Qi machine usually produces one frequency and it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. Like we use, we use one frequencies on our Qi coils and our mantra coils and oral coils as well. And the wands, right? You can use single frequencies, but then they don't program you with specific programs, just like the ones I've shown you. Like they can't program you for specifically to overcome fear. Like if you have fear, they don't have a program for you to overcome fear. You know, who, who's got a program that helps you induce lucid dreaming. Who's got a program that helps you to stay focused or get unstuck, increases your manifesting uh, uh, meditation amplifying. Like who's got a program that does like these specific things. There's nobody with these programs. There may be a lot of technology out there that have one or two frequencies. Like I showed you in the demonstration in the spectrum analysis, but none of them have, if not any have harmonics and none of them have the meditation matrix that we have in our frequencies. Michael wants to know, what does the Qi activator frequencies do exactly? Can it be used with headphones? How long does it have to take effect? The Qi activation frequency, most people feel it within 10 to 20 seconds. It's that powerful. What effect does it have? It differs for different people, but most people, they'll feel some kind of tingling or buzzing sensation. They'll feel it on their skin. It's like the skin is vibrating. That's what it feels. Activating that electrical energy in your body through your skin. Should you listen with headphones or without? You can e listen both ways. And it's really quite amazing because I tested this with headphones or with earbuds, just very simple earbuds. And I'm listening to the Qi activator frequency and I can still feel my hands pulsing with electrical energy whenever the notes are playing in the frequency. And I say, whoa, this is not just sound waves because if it was a sound wave, then obviously you can feel the sound wave vibrating the air. But I was just using earbuds. I was just hearing it in my brain. And then I can feel the energy pulsating in my skin. So it's not just sound waves, it's actually activating something in your nervous system. Until next time, use the chi and prosper. I'm David Wong. 
I'll see you on Chi Life Store. I'll see you on David Wong Inner Circle. Have a good night.